So this is a demo on how to cut your charts out and then glue them with rubber cement. So after you have painted and you cut your chart free, you can rubber cement the new piece of Bristol board that you're going to glue to. Let that dry. So I was just showing you that it was totally dry. Um, and then you rubber cement the back of your chart that you've cut free from that original Bristol board. Um, and liberally um, glue the back with your rubber cement, okay? Because if it's a little bit thicker board, it kind of needs a little bit more thicker rubber cement application. Let that dry completely. And I just, I just kind of look at it, and whenever you lose the, um, the light hitting the rubber cement, it will be dry, okay? It doesn't take long at all. Uh, there you go. And then we take the board you're gluing to and the dried rubber cement back to your chart and then dry to dry, apply it. I would make sure your chart is slightly bigger than you need so that you can cut your border perfectly. It even helps if you put a book on this while it's drying just to kind of keep it um, really flat just for a few minutes. And then all you have to do is cut the chart free, keeping your border, your new border, perpendicular to the chart. This is why it's nice to kind of glue it on a slightly bigger board and then just cut it down to the correct size. I'm just using the leftover piece to measure because it's the same size. Um, the next border. There you go. And then this border is nice and clean. Um, your edges of your chart are really, really nice and clean because you've cut them. So even if there was like a little bit of overflow from your paint, it'll look fantastic and um, you won't have to work so hard to keep it clean. Okay. Looks like we're the right size all around. Okay. okay. And there you have a perfect chart. Nice and clean. Um, even borders, and at the very end, what I'm doing is my, my hands are very clean, or you use your rubber cement eraser and pull away the excess rubber cement. Um, that's why you want to have that rubber cement like a little bit bigger than you actually need so that you get good contact on the edge of the chart. And it just takes a few minutes to kind of pull that excess rubber cement off. Just make sure that your hand is extremely clean or you get a really, really clean rubber cement eraser. It's called a pickup eraser, and that'll pick up that rubber cement. Okay. And then you'll have a nice, clean, beautiful border. I'm just getting all the little bits off at the end. Okay, and there you go.